And let's get more on those ceasefire talks overseas. Foreign correspondent Tom Sufi Burge is in Tel Aviv. Good morning, Tom. Yeah, good morning, Michael. We're on the road, actually, with families and friends of those hostages still being held inside Gaza. Gaza is down the road that way. They began their march this morning. This week, they're marching right the way up to Jerusalem. They are desperately pressing the Israeli government and the U.S. to get a deal to get their loved ones home. Now, President Biden has said he believes Israel has agreed to halt its activities inside Gaza long enough to get the hostages out. But serious differences still remain between the two sides. Israeli officials describing Hamas's demands as delusional. Hamas saying serious gaps remain. Hamas's trying to get a deal in which Israeli forces withdraw fully from the Gaza Strip. Israel is not willing to accept that, but it has said it might redeploy its troops within Gaza. Now, negotiations continue. Meanwhile, Jordan airdropping vital food aid into Gaza, uh, where the UN is warning of a potential famine. There are around 100 hostages still being held inside Gaza, including six Americans. And that unofficial deadline, the beginning of the holy Muslim month of Ramadan, is in just 11 days' time. Robin? Our thanks to you, Tom, for being there for us. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.